And this is the real reason I wanted to do this because now you can spam people in obnoxiously sized text. Hey everyone, today we're gonna to be doing something a little bit different. Uh, I'm currently inside my Discord server with, uh, this is sort of where I test out my Discord bot. And we're gonna be adding in the ability to add in some extra emphasis for some of our messages because maybe we just aren't able to be as obnoxious as we would like to be in the messaging application. So this video is gonna cover Markdown. Uh, just adding some basic markdown functionality into the app through red carpet. This is just a fun little exercise that sort of shows you how to do some uh, extra stuff if you're interested with, with Rails. So we're going to start by going to Google and looking up the red carpet markdown gem. And we'll click on the first link. I'll have a link to this in the video description. Basically, all you have to do is run the, let me zoom in, run the bundle install command for the red carpet gem. So I'll just say bundle add red carpet. That will add it to our Rails app. Okay, now that that's added, we can actually just go ahead and start the server. But there is one thing I'd like to cover as well, and that is the Lufa safe list. Now, because we're gonna be doing some sketchy stuff with allowing some HTML through our application, we should probably have a safe list. So we're just going to add in the Lufa safe list. I'll have a list or I'll have a link to this in the video description. You can just come to this link and you can just grab the raw file, hit control A, control C, that'll copy it. And then we can add it into our application. All I'm going to do here is just mirror where it's located. So here it's in lib Lufa HTML5. So we'll come over to our app. I'll bump up the font size. We'll say lib, this needs a new folder needs to have a Lufa slash HTML5 folder. And then inside of the HTML5, we want to do a safe list.rb where we just paste this in without really thinking about it. And all this list is, I guess we'll think about it a little bit, is it's just a list of things that you're allowing into your application. So here you have the acceptable elements, which are your HTML elements, like your anchor tags, your abbreviations, your buttons, your BRs. So maybe you wanna allow those in. And if you don't wanna allow something, like maybe you don't want headers or buttons, you just get rid of the headers or the buttons. You then have at the bottom a aggregated list for specific allowed elements or allowed attributes that you are uh, allow listing. So in this case, our allowed elements are our acceptable elements plus math ML elements and SVG elements. And if you collapse these, you can see these are the three acceptable elements right there, which are about, what, 70 different uh, elements. I lied, 170. Math is hard. I didn't see this started at 50. So that's essentially all we're doing here is we're just going to use these allowed elements to safe list some stuff. This sort of protects you from people trying to inject malicious code where, if, you know, someone was to click on a button and you just allowed them to insert whatever logic they want, they could put in a button that, I don't know, grabs your cookies and then sends them to the cookie monster. So we'll come into config and application.rb because this is where we want to put this logic. And let me full screen my other monitor. Essentially what we need is below the config, we just want to do a config.action underscore view dot sanitized underscore allowed tags. And then we want this to be equal to, and then in the safe list, if we scroll up to the top, we can see that it is Lufa, HTML5, and then the safe list module. So you can already guess, we're gonna do Lufa, colon, colon, HTML5, colon, colon, safe, capital L, list, colon, colon, and then allowed elements. So that will give us our allowed tags and then we need to deal with the allowed attributes so for this we'll say config dot it's going to be action view dot sanitized allowed attributes and this is going to be lufa html5 safe list and allowed attributes if we've done this correctly when we now go to start the server it should not yell at us which it looks like it's not but let's take a look at what happens if you i don't know forget to capitalize the l you can save this hit Rails S, and it will throw an error. And then right here, it tells you exactly what the issue is. Did you mean Lufa HTML5 safe list? That's why I'm pointing out the capital L, by the way, because this is totally what I tried last time. So then you can just fix it, try to run it again, and eventually it'll work. And that will give you your list of sanitized parameters. I'll come up to the application with all of my testing data up here that currently isn't formatted, but don't worry, we'll get this working in a second. 
What we now need to do is come over to our app, our views and our messages and our message partial. And in here, we're just gonna add in a markdown helper, which is just gonna be a call like this. And we're basically done in the message partial. That's really all we had to do. Next, we're gonna come up to our helpers because we just used a markdown helper. So we should probably create it. We'll come into the, I don't know, the rooms helper uh, because we're using it in the rooms. Although we could also put it in the messages helper, I guess. I don't really know if it matters. Uh, but to me, it makes more sense to have it in the rooms helper because we're using it in the chat room, which doesn't make a lot of sense now that I'm saying it, but uh, just, I guess, put it wherever you'd like. <laughs> we'll then say, this is a markdown text. Uh, so it takes in a text as an argument and then the actual uh, car red carpet GitHub repo, if you look through the readme, has sort of the syntax you need to follow. Let me full screen this actually. Essentially what you need to do is you need to create a new markdown object, which takes in a renderer and some extensions, or it can take in a uh, list of objects. So your renderer will be HTML5, and then you have a, uh, an array of options, I guess. But we'll see when we get down there. It should have an example somewhere, hopefully, of the options. Uh, yeah, your render options, which is just an empty uh, object or hash or whatever Rails calls it. So I guess whatever Ruby calls it. So our options here are going to be, I mean, you have quite a few. I'm just going to cover the ones that I used here personally, and then we can just talk about them. Uh, basically, your options are going to be a hard wrap, which is just going to insert line breaks wherever you had line breaks. So it's going to put in BR tags, which of course is why we had to allow those BR tags. It'll then do the link attributes. Now, I don't actually know if this is working. Uh, but in, in an ideal world, you would set the target to blank as well so that your links would open up in a new tab. You then have fenced code blocks. This is a little bit weird because I think red carpet uses like the Google Prettifier, which is like deprecated eight times over. So I'm not sure if this will work, but we'll give it a shot. We then have no intra emphasis, which uh, I'm actually not sure what this does. It says do not parse emphasis inside of words, strings such as foobaz, or foo bar baz will not generate em tags. Okay, so if you just have like snake case stuff, it won't do the emphasis tags. That makes sense. And then auto link. I also don't know what this one does. Uh, parse links even when they're not enclosed in angle brackets. Okay, cool. So this works for pretty much everything you would need. So we now have our options. Let's go ahead and let's add in the markdown uh, object here. So we're going to call red carpet markdown. We're going to say this needs a new HTML renderer. And then it takes in the options. Once you've done this, you then want to call sanitize markdown.render, and then it's going to take in the text. And at this point, if we come over to the chat room and we refresh, I'll do a hard refresh. Okay, it really didn't like that. We'll go ahead and we'll test this. So let's try to do a uh, emphasis. Okay, so that looks like it has been italicized. Let me scroll in a bit. Let's try to do a bold emphasized, emphasized more, I guess. That looks good. And now let's try to do a triple double. I don't know what that means, but we're just going to say sure. And that is uh, italicized and emphasized with the bold. And now let's try the most obnoxious option, which is our headers. And this is the real reason I wanted to do this because now you can spam people in obnoxiously sized text. You can of course shrink this and it gets a little bit smaller because you have your six different header options. So if we come in here and we come over to elements and we click on shrinked, you can see this is a, if I zoom in, this is a H3 tag. Uh, and the one above it is going to be a H1. So that's all that's doing. But yeah, that's all I wanted to do. I just thought it'd be fun to come over to the John Doe message and just say, hello, John, <laughs> and just spam him with massive text because we used to do that at work all the time. But yeah, that's going to do it for this video. Hopefully you got some value out of this nonsense uh, and I will see you in the Monday video.